Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heike and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts and I haven't been able to film a single video in over a week and of course that was the week where I had packages coming in like crazy. So I'm going to do a whole unboxing marathon which you of course won't notice because they are going to be posted one after the other as always with final reviews and weapon chats and everything else in between. But you might notice that you are going to see a lot of these grey glad arms. That's because I'm going to film them all in a row. Yes, I have other clothes. <laughs> so let's get on with it. Um, the first order that got in was my Diamond Art Club clearance section order. So um, as you know, Diamond Art Club has a clearing sec clearance sec section. Oh God, words! We are starting out good, and um, I noticed there were two paintings in there that I've had on my wish list for a while. So I think these two are not going to be discontinued. They are as of now not on the discount list. Um, they are being cleared out because they overstocked them, according to the comment they put in the description of the items. Um, and the price was just too good to to say no to it. So let's start out with a with a smaller one and put that away. Um, I don't think I have to introduce my co-host, do I? Um, little sleepy Lola. She's been sleepy all day, but it's it's rainy and dreary here, so I'm not very surprised. First one up is Little Red Riding Hood by JoJo's Arts. And I absolutely love this picture. I've been wanting to order it for a long time and for whatever reason everything else always took uh, precedence over it. And right now I'm kind of happy because I snatched this one up for um, $17.82. Um, I had a 15% coupon on top of the clearance price. Um, so this is a 40 by 55 round with AB. It's a bit on the smaller side for me, but um, that's actually good because I've been buying a lot of giant paintings recently. So a mere 50 by uh, 40 is kind of vacation. <laughs> I don't want to call it a snack, but a vacation. So as you can see, it's also in this special print box. Um, very adorable. I think I've only had, I think that's only my second with a special print on it. So still kind of special. <laughs> so let's get into this. This is a very light kit. And we have the clear bag, which is good. We have a toolkit and we have some drills stuck in here. So you already know the Diamond Art Club toolkit. I'm not going to go into details. Um, I'm going to prepare something for future videos, but yeah, it's there. If you want to know what's in there, go back to one of my other Diamond Art Club unboxings. There are plenty of them. So let's see, where's the opening? Here it is. <laughs> so we have this piece of paper with the nine steps to diamond painting. There is no paper strip and no sticker in this kit, but it's older stock, so I'm not surprised. Not old, old stock, but older. So let's roll that back so you can see it a little better. And it will lie flat. And here we go. So this is, as you could see for about two seconds before Lola decided she's going to sit on him, <laughs> the big bad wolf. <laughs> God, kitty. <laughs> oh, the big bad wolf and a teeny tiny little red riding hood. Um, and come here, baby. You can sit down on it in a minute. Um, and as you can see, he is pretty dark, but I think once he's drilled, he will look fantastic. And um, yeah, I should really, 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 really do my first Jojo's art now. I have quite a few of his paintings now, but I've never done them. 
really need to do that. So we have 32 colors in this painting, two of which look to be like AB. There's 129, I believe this is a pale yellow, and 135, which should be a limey green. So, as is most often the case, Kat, what is it with you and Diamond Art Club canvases? <laughs> You're very jealous of them. Um, as always, they are the ones and the twos. So they, they are basically around the wolf here. Um, in here, so mostly in the background, which is not surprising. Yep, and as you can see the first, I hope you can actually see the AB sheen a little bit. The first color, this is probably the 135. It's this limey green. And the second one is right here, this pale yellow. Um, that's the second AB color. Ooh, and I think I have a rip back in here because we have loose drills. So let's be careful. <clears throat> let's be very careful. It's a brown. I think it is this one here. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It indeed is. The bag ripped right at the seam where the machine seals it off. That's where the hole is. So let's put a band-aid on it and scoop up the loose drills afterwards. Let's just put them to the side. So, and cat hair all over the canvas, of course. Unsurprisingly, we have a ton of dark colors in here. Three twin. A lot less 310 than I would have thought. 938, 3371, and 433. And then we have some yellowy beigey tones. This is the first AB. Once again, the camera just doesn't want to show the perfect, perfect shimmer on this, which is always a bit sad. Uh, some more browns. I'm trying to feel if more of the bags have ripped. So here's our wounded bag. And one more brown. Oh, you are allowed to see the wolf. Aren't you happy? <laughs> and then we have a very long strip of smaller bags. Gorgeous red. The second AB color, I think once again, not really showing up. A couple of stragglers in there as well. Uh, 817, I love this red. This actually might be one of my favorite reds overall. And then we have a few darker reds and more earthy tones. So this is a very earthy picture, unsurprisingly. It reminds me of, of autumn or fall. Um, and it's actually very different to what I usually do though. So that's, that's one of the reasons why I love it so much. All right, let me clean up the drill mess here, put them into a separate baggie and label that one, and then I'll be back with the second kit in a moment. And here we go again. So the second kit from this order is another one of Mandy's. It's the Sea Bodies, a 55 by 73 centimeter round with AB. And um, this is actually not that old, I think. Um, but I never got around to buying it when it came out. Um, there were just so many releases. Uh, I had to choose what to buy. <laughs> and I got this coupon included for $26.44. Both of these kits I ordered on the 7th of September. They shipped out on the 8th and they arrived on the second, uh, 16th of September. 
I tell you, it's been a long couple of weeks. <laughs> Ooh, these blues. Holy mackerel. I'm already so much in love. So we have a canvas. We have, once again, toolkit. Not going to get into it. And we have gorgeous, gorgeous drills. Oh, these blues, guys. Both of them. These these are more... This is more um, greenish. And this is a very true blue. I guess this is going to be one of our main colors in this kit. Gorgeous. You know I'm a bright color girl. Even if I buy the occasional muted canvas like Little Red Riding Hood, I am mainly a bright color girl. So, let's get it out. I think that's the first time I didn't rip the white back. <laughs> it's very rip bro prone. So, we have another one of these nine steps of diamond painting thingies, which we are not going to look at because we know it. Um... And let's roll this one back as well, so it will lie flat. Awkward moment of silence. <laughs> and the cat sitting down on the floor staring at me. Go on, kitty. Faces to sit on. She actually looked up at the word faces. <laughs> And here she comes. So this is a 44 color canvas. And as far as I can see, there are two ABs. One 37, which is a blue, and one 32, which should be this orangey yellow I've had multiple times. It goes in the in the crack in here, here and in the... Not in the starfish, a little bit in the starfish. And then we have another crop in here. And do you see how perfectly she sat down on the faces? You are such a talented kitty. You are so, so, so talented. It's actually scary. <laughs> so let's have a look at the drills while she is keeping the faces warm. As always, because this is a Mandy kit, we have a poop ton of black. One, two, three, four, five bags of black. Then we have this gorgeous blue. Three bags of that. And we have a cat trying to eat the drills. One of those. <laughs> and then more blue. A brown. Do you like to have a side of tuna with your drills? <laughs> uh, where to start? Three, six, eight. So gorgeous, gorgeous colors. There's so much color in this painting. I'm seriously looking forward to doing this one. What a cute amount of 939, <laughs> I have to say so. <laughs> so I haven't seen any of the ABs yet, but I think I have glimpsed both of them now. Yeah, here's this orange color AB. This is the one AB color that always shows the coating at least okay on camera. And here's the next one, the blue. I think that also shows up a little bit. A few more muted tones. It's probably for the stones and the ground. And then we have a bit of dark brown. And this is also a fantastic violet toned blue. Oh, and look, Lola missed a face. <laughs> so this is uh, um, very cartoony for for Mandy Manzano. I mean, Mandy 
has a certain cartoonish style because she likes to draw Disney. But this is more of a, the Japanese call it chibi look, where everything looks small and cute and very big eyed. And I thought this was very unique among her paintings. It has the stained glass lines, but it's not exactly the same stained glass look than her other paintings. So I thought it would be exactly what I like, but at the same time a bit different. So, kitty cat, may I show some of the detail of the canvas? Go on. Oh, yeah. I may not. I know. Ah, come here. You are one heavy cat. So there's actually some writing um, on this painting. And what does it actually say? I don't think I can read it on the on the schematic. Let's pull the box out. Let's see if we can see somewhere beyond the sea if I can if I read this correctly. So this has a bit of writing. I've seen this one completed. I know it will turn out once it's done. Um, it will actually be legible once it's done. But looking at a round canvas is always a bit difficult to make out all the details anyway. As you might have seen on the wolf, which look very odd in the schematic, but will look very great once it's done. So this one is so full of details. We have all these little critters up here. We have so many fish and air bubbles and plants. And we have this little cancer buddy down here or grab. We have the starfish, we have a cat, which is so tired that she has to sleep on my canvas now. Um, even more fish down here. So there's so, so, so many details in here. And once it's done, it's just so colorful and vibrant and fun and yeah. Which is the reason why I wanted to buy it and I'm so, so, so glad I got it discounted. Um. I would have shown you a close-up of the canvas, but um, yeah, <laughs> let's see, maybe I can, I hope I don't make you sick, I'm going to pull the camera down instead, so I think you can, you can see the drill feel pretty well, it is very, very clear. Um, trying to see if there's anything difficult symbol-wise, but no, it's pretty much the known symbols except for this uh, this one here. This is a, a new one I haven't had before, but I've seen it on other unboxings. So this was, uh, I think, the first painting where they introduced it. And you can giving you a close-up of Miss Kitty. You can actually see a big patch of it up here and a cute little white paw. <laughs> so this is a new experience for you. Um, so yeah, it's, it's typical Diamond Art Club quality as far as the canvas and the symbols go. I'm, I'm very satisfied with that. And I think Lola likes this as well. It's, it's a great kit, kitty bed. So let's pull you up gently. So not to make you sick, I think we are going to leave it here. Yeah, it's all crooked now, but we are done anyway. So guys, if you like this unboxing or if you just like Lola, um, I know she is the most fluffy, lovable thing on this table anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, put on a show, why won't you? Um, you can leave us a thumbs up below. You can also drop a comment. You can subscribe and hit the bell, of course, if you haven't yet. We would love that. Um, there is a lot more content to come in the future, so stay tuned. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. And I will catch you very soon with my next unboxing. Bye, guys.